I probably should have set you guys up on a tripod, but originally I wasn't planning on showing you a quick overview, but here we go. This is the current state of my highlighters and bronzers. There's a foundation stain right there, don't mind that. Okay, so these are my foundations and bronzers. The other drawers are pretty much organized, but this one, as you can see, is a mess. So this is what we're going to be decluttering. I don't know if I'm going to have to do like a part one highlighter and part two bronzer, or if we'll be able to fit it all into one. If it's one video, it's gonna be super long. So hopefully y'all don't mind. So I thought I would go ahead and start off with my liquid and cream highlighters. So I'm gonna kick things off with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I love these. These came out after they released the Custom Enhancer Foundations. So you can wear these on top of foundation or you can kind of mix them in to create like a glow from within look. Honestly, I love these. You'll see from the swatches, they're incredible. So out of the six, I'm going to be keeping five and getting rid of this one here. Something about it, it's just a little bit separated no matter how much I mix it and it just always looks muddy on my skin. Next up, I have highlighters that are in this kind of like nail polish packaging. So I have one from Stila and two from Benefit. The one from Stila is pretty old and even swatched clumpy. So this one just needs to go in the trash. It was pretty. I used to mix this in with my foundation more than like using it as an actual like on top of my foundation highlighter. Then High Beam is still good. I'm going to pass this on to a friend, but a while ago I did a drugstore dupes type of video and this one I got from Walgreens. I don't even know like I don't think it was a collab with e.l.f. or anything. It's just the Disney Cinderella Fairy Glow Face and Body Illuminator. This came out during the holidays. I'll go ahead and link that video above. But these were pretty similar, and overall, I just like how this one applies better. So I'm going to keep this, pass this one on to a friend. But then this here is a mini that I got semi-recently. I haven't really played with it too much, but it's something a bit different. It's a nude pink matte radiance highlighter. I've heard some people use this on their under eyes as a brightener, so I want to keep this and try it out some more. Next up from the Estee Edit, I have these flash illuminators. I've used these in a tutorial in the past. I love these. First of all, they're super easy to use because they do come with a pump. This one in Spotlight, I'll actually use after my primer just to have that kind of like glow from within look. It kind of gives the same effect as the MAC Strobe Cream, but it is a bit thicker. So this is just more of a pearly finish. This is amazing in the summer if you just want to deepen up your foundation slightly and create like a really natural bronzy look. And then this, I really like to apply under NARS Orgasm. I'm not like the biggest fan of that blush unless I'm really tan, but this under it just takes it to another level. This one, I don't know, it's pretty, but I don't use it as much. So I'm going to hang on to these three and then pass this one along to a friend. Here we have the Maybelline by Face Studio Illuminating Highlighters. These are still semi-new at the drugstore. I think these are some awesome liquid highlighters. I probably don't need to keep every single one, but as I've mentioned in other declutter videos, I really like to have options for drugstore videos. and I have have one in mind, so I'm going to be hanging on to all three of these. This is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Pure Gold. This is from NYX. Honestly, if the Maybelline shades that I just showed you in 200 and 300 had a baby, it would make this one. I've used this several times. There's still quite a bit of product in here, so I'm going to pass this one along. Next up, I have two products that are on the complete opposite ends of the price spectrum. This one is from Marc Jacobs. I think this is Spotlight as well. Yeah, Spotlight Glow Stick, and then this is the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter in the shade Look on the bright side. I'm not going to say formula wise they're identical, but the shade is pretty similar. Um, I really like the Marc Jacobs to apply underneath my skin, like before under, ew, underneath my skin, no, underneath my foundation just has this really nice glowy effect, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch these side by side. Plus the packaging of this is so cute. It's like a baby deodorant. So here is the Marc Jacobs spotlight, just like a really pretty kind of pearl opal shade. And then here is the essence one. I'm not saying they're dead on dupes, but I mean they're pretty similar. I'm going to be holding on to this one as well for a future video just because I want to do some more dupe videos for you guys. Y'all seem to like those. But yeah, if you're looking for a quick, cheaper, way cheaper alternative to the spotlight, like I said, formula isn't dead on, but if you're looking for something that's like a similar color, maybe slightly less golden, but I mean, I still think those are pretty close. And like I said, one's way more expensive than the other. So both of these are going to be staying. Next up, I have my stick highlighters. This is NARS Hot Sand, love this one. This is from Etude House, which is a Korean brand. It's just the Play 101 stick. I think I showed you guys swatches of this in my Korean beauty haul. This is a favorite from this brand, it's really good. I've talked about this highlighter so many times. This is from Flower Beauty, which you can find at um, Walmart. It's Drew Barrymore's brand. This was a dupe for something as well. 
called? I can't remember. Then I have the It Cosmetics Highlighter or Hello Cream Hello Light Cream Luminizer. Can I read? This one is so, so pretty. You guys know I love It Cosmetics. It kind of dries down to like a slight powder finish. Like it just feels really light and airy on the skin. Love that. Revlon Instafix Highlighting Stick. I recently gave the pink toned one to my friend just because I tend to lean towards more of these like golden champagne highlighters. I'm going to be holding on to this one and this one. I know, getting rid of none of them, but just a quick little insider scoop in this video. We have another like kind of dupe, not a dead on dupe, but if you've been wanting to check out the, what is this called again? I just have a mini of this. The Benefit Watts Up, Watts, Watts Up. Why did that sound weird? These aren't dead on, but pretty darn similar. I feel like the Revlon one has more of like a champagne and then the Benefit has a little bit more gold. But look at those. They look pretty darn close on the cheeks, so I'm going to hold on to both of these for a future video, so if you guys end up seeing that video, then you'll already know which ones I'm going to be talking about. But look at those. And the Revlon one, I think, is around like six or $7.99, and then the full size of the Watts Up, I'm guessing, is probably anywhere from like the $20 to $30 range. So if you want to save you some money, check out the Revlon one. So all of these are staying. When it comes to highlighters, you guys, I'm really bad, especially like cream and stick highlighters. Those are my favorite. And then what do you know? We have some more cream highlighters. This one, oh no, this one I'm going to be passing on. This is another one of the It Cosmetics Hello Light Cream Illuminizers. This one is just in pan form. So whoops, are we upside down? So this one I'm going to give to a friend. It's basically the same exact color that I had in the stick form. And then I have two from Becca, Champagne Pop and then Opal. Honestly, Champagne Pop in the press version I haven't used really that much, but I'm still going to hold on to it because I really love Becca highlighters, especially Opal. Oh, it's my favorite. Wow. I went hardcore on that swatch, but just look at that. Becca kills it with highlighters. Both of these are staying, but this little baby can go and be adopted by a new family. And I have two more Becca highlighters. These are the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Versions. I have Champagne Pop and Opal. I have gone through one entire bottle of Opal, which is pretty darn impressive. Both of these are staying because I think out of all of my highlighters, the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfectors are hands down my favorite. They're so, so pretty. I have this one from Jouer. This is the Luminizing Liquid Highlighter in number one Nude Light. I think I've swatched this and I just wasn't really like wowed by it. It wasn't bad, but it was nothing life-changing either. So I'm going to pass this one on to a friend. Then I have this guy here. This is from Leo Ali. It's the Blooming Shimmer Pearl Base. I used to wear this one all the time. I think this was one of like my first liquid highlighters. Whoa. It still smells good though and it hasn't separated. This is more of like a pinky type of base. I don't really use this one as much anymore, so I'm going to pass this one along as well. Then I have this one from the Beauty Crop. This is the Lighting Crew Nourished with Pineapple and Green Tea. I'm pretty sure this came from BoxyCharm. This highlighter is beautiful. Like, this is the exact kind of color. Oh no, we're dripping. Uh, I think this said this was full size on the box, which was crazy because I think it said it was $18 for this tiny bottle. But look at this. <gasps> Like that's the kind of highlighter you can see from space. So this we're keeping. Okay, I think this is when I'm finally going to be a little bit better. I have a ton of ColourPop highlighters and I've decluttered these once already, which is bad. And I still have this many left. I'm a huge fan of ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Their cheek products aren't my favorite, but out of all the cheek products, the highlighters are definitely like what I lean towards more over the blushes and bronzers. So I think I have what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 here. I'm gonna be getting rid of these nine. Road Trip is really pretty. Um, so what's this one here? Electric Slide, but I feel like I have similar shades and I don't use these as much, especially like these three down here. I just don't really wear like white and like lavender type of highlighters. So these will be able to go and find a new home, but I'm going to be keeping these seven here. This one is incredible. Might be if you like a really light kind of like bronze highlighter. I feel like this is a really nice, unique one. So I'm going to hold on whoa, to these guys, plus these two, I mean, I can't not keep these because they're Hello Kitty. They're so cute. So I'm gonna be keeping these and getting rid of these nine here. I do have a couple more cream highlighters. These ones are from Jouer. I love Jouer packaging because they're basically like makeup Lego bricks. They just come apart like this and then you can connect them. They have like blushes, bronzers, powders. Ah, now I can't get this in. Um, lip glosses, all sorts of stuff, but they just, okay, whatever. We're gonna leave that one off for now. Um, these I really do like. These, they're kind of like that It Cosmetics one that I mentioned earlier. It kind of dries 
dries down to a slight powdery finish. I'm going to keep most of these except for these two here on the end. I think it's... I know Camellia and something, yeah. Camellia and Crystal, another one of those kind of like pinky lavender shades and then just a really like pearly white ones. I just feel like the pearly white ones don't look quite as flattering on my skin as some of these like golden and like champagne shades. So these two are gonna go, but I'm going to keep these. Then I have these two strobe highlight palettes from Pure Cosmetics. These were in several monthly favorites. I have Moonlight Glow, which I think are the kind of like lighter shades. You still have like a bronze, a pink, and a golden champagne. The Sun Kiss has the same tones, but they're just warmer. These are beautiful. If you just take a damp beauty blender and pop these on the tops of your cheekbones, so, so pretty. I'm going to be keeping both of these, plus the packaging is so luxe. I love them. Okay, I have this guy from Stila. This came out during the holidays. It's the Starlight Star Bright highlighting palette. You have Transcendence, Kitten, and Bronze. I actually just got full-size ones of these. I really wish I wouldn't have even swatched them and kept them brand new. That way, like, whoever I pass it on to wouldn't have little fingerprints in it, but I'm sure a friend or a family member won't mind. I have the full size now, so I'm going to be passing these along. They're just really cute, like jello-y, pillowy highlighters. This one here, I think in bronze, you just wanna create like an all over warm type of bronzy glow. This looks so good on the cheeks. So this one is gonna to go to a friend. I think that's it for cream highlighters. Moving on to powder highlighters, I have this palette from Violet Voss. It just has three of their highlighting shades here. I love Violet Voss eyeshadows, but these highlighters, I don't know. I didn't I didn't hate them, but I didn't really love them either. So I'm going to pass this palette along. I also have this palette from Elf. It's just their illuminating palette. I have four highlighters here. Like I said, I didn't hate it, but it just didn't really wow me either. I felt like they were kind of chalky on the face. Like one went on really smooth, but the other three I just didn't really have that good of luck with, so I'm going to pass it on. Then I have these from e.l.f. If you guys watched my recent like first impressions drugstore video, I think I used blush gems, and I was like, this is not pigmented at all. The amount of comments that I got that were like, you have to scrape off the top layer. So I still haven't done that. In my opinion, you shouldn't have to do that, but if that's what it takes, I'm going to try it because these look so pretty in the pan. So I'm gonna test that out. Thank you guys for the tips. So I'm going to keep those and give them a go. This one I know I'm going to pass on though. The first time I used it, I really liked it. And then the more I used it, I just felt like it looked really dry and chalky on my face. It's like, it had that really pretty, like traditional metallic finish of a highlighter, but I felt like instead of giving me a glow, it like made my cheeks look really just like crusty and like they needed moisturizer. So I'm going to pass that one along as well as this. This is from Hard Candy, the Glow All The Way Tiki baked bronzer, but I mean, people have mentioned they used it as a highlighter. And I don't know, it was another one that I felt like just looked really dry on me. So I'm gonna pass these two guys along. If you watched my recent haul, I featured this. This is from I Heart Makeup. It's the Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter in Golden Goddess. I love this highlighter. I think I said it was $5.99 in the video, but it's actually eight something, but look at that. That's worth every single penny. Oh, I mean, what is there not to love? So this is definitely staying with me. Okay, so here are the rest of my drugstore highlighters. Everything's like facing a different direction. This one is from JCat Beauty, the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighters. You can get these from Ulta. They had sent this one in White Goddess. There's actually a champagne one and a pink one too. These are so pretty. As I mentioned in my previous video, I feel like JCat Beauty is definitely underrated. I know I said I don't really wear these whitish highlighters quite as much, but this one's unique, right? It's like a white, yellow type of gold, so I'm going to keep that. This was one of my very first powder highlighters. I don't think they even make this anymore. It's probably so old, but I don't care. I'm keeping it because I never see this. This is the Brighton Mineral Finishing Powder. I haven't used this in so long, which makes me sad, but I mean, it was my very first little baby. Look at that, it's just like a really pretty pearly pink highlighter. That one is definitely staying, as well as all three of these. This is one of my favorite highlighters from the drugstore. It's from Makeup Revolution. It's in the shade, I think, Radiant? Yeah, Shimmer Brick Radiant. Look at this. It looks very similar to like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks, but where can I swatch this? Isn't that so pretty? It's like a light golden bronzy highlighter. This one I'm sure you've seen swatched many times. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in a Vegas Strip. And then I have one of the, what are you called? Natural Nude from Physician's Formula. Mine is broken, 
but I don't care. It's pretty. You can actually use these like individual bricks as eyeshadows as well. So all five of these are staying and I think all five of these are some awesome highlighters from Z Drugstore. Okay, another highlighting palette. This one is from Makeup Geek. This was the collab with Kathleen Light. So this baby is going to stay as well. Then I have this one from Estee Lauder. First of all, the packaging is incredible. This was the Victoria Beckham collection. Look at this highlighter. Anytime I use this on FaceTime with my friend Laura, she gets like super salty, but look at it. Would you just look at it? It's so pretty, plus the packaging. I can't, I love it. I have this one from Mamond, Mamonde. This is a Korean brand. It's just this really pretty gradient. This is basically a highlighter collection, if I'm gonna be real with y'all, because I'm keeping most of these. I mean, I just, Ugh, highlighters, I love them. Then I have some highlighters from MAC. Look how sad and pitiful this one is. I can't even open it. This is Whisper of Guilt. I like used and abused this one. Do you like how I'm stroking it? <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite highlighters of life. It's basically just crumbs now, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep it. These are the extra dimension highlighters, I think. This one is Double Gleam. It's so, so pretty. And then I have Soft Frost. This is super cool, but I'm not gonna use it, so I'm going to pass it on. That way it can get the love that it deserves. It's this really cool kind of duochrome highlighter, but it has like this purplish, bluish type of duochrome to it. I'm not gonna wear it, so I'm gonna find someone who will and pass that one along. Then I have Soft and Gentle, which I feel like is one of the most well-known highlighters from MAC. I'm going to be keeping that. This one is so good. Oh, I just showed you that, double glaze, just kidding. This is Light Scapade. Honestly, I haven't even used this one. I received this as PR. Oh, that is pretty though. I feel like, I mean, he deserves a chance, right? So this one is going to stay. I have a couple of loose highlighters. This one is from Ofra in the shade Pink Sapphire. It is really pretty, but I never use it. Then I have the It Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer. I used to be addicted to this one, but they're just so messy. They're pretty, but they're a pain to use, so I'm going to pass both of these along. I have this one from Pixie. It's just the Beauty Blush Duo in Peach Honey. It says blush, but I mean, it looks like a highlighter. So you have a golden side and then a pink side. Those are pretty, but look at my arm. I should probably wipe this. Um, oh, that pink one's so pretty. Okay, this one might have to stay because he hasn't gotten enough love yet. Then I have this Laura Geller duo in French Vanilla and Golden Rose. I've talked about French Vanilla so many times. It's beautiful, but I have several like minis of these, so I'm going to pass this one along to my mom. Speaking of minis, here's a couple. I have Golden Rose. This is my mini one, so I need to keep it. And then Portofino, which is so, so good. Speaking of Laura Geller, I have three more here. Gilded Honey, which I feel like is the most well-known, Peach Glow, and then Ballerina. All three of these are staying because they're beautiful. Then I have this. This is actually an eyeshadow from J.Cat Beauty, but I love it as a highlighter. You can mix all three of them. It goes kind of from like a white gold, a champagne, to this like peachy type of bronzy gold, but if you mix them all together, it's the best highlighter ever. And I think it's like $3.99, $4.99. It's under $5. I'm pretty sure. Look at that. So good. Like I said, you can get J.Cat Beauty from Ulta. Then I have the, oh, I'm missing one. The Jouer highlighters in Citrine. Ugh, I'm not flicking you off my bad. Um, Citrine, Rose Quartz, and I think Topaz is over on my vanity. These are so amazing. Then I have two of the Hourglass, what are they? Ambient Strobe Lighting Powders. I thought I was gonna love these a lot more than what I actually do. I'm going to keep Brilliant, yeah, this one here, but I'm going to get rid of Incandescent. I feel like I never use that one. The packaging is so, so pretty, but he just, I feel like it's neglected. So this one's going to go, but this one's going to stay. Then I have this gorgeous kind of like golden highlighter from Lorac. This one is in the shade Twilight. I only have one of these. I was about to say I don't know why, but clearly I do because I have an insane amount of highlighters. This one is so good and I feel like it's underrated. I have one from Kevin Aquan. This one is in Candlelight. This is another one that I feel like doesn't look that impressive in the pan, but 
on. It is so, so pretty. Evna Kwan is definitely a brand that I want to try more products from. I have several other cheek products, but I think that's really about it. I have another highlighter from Jouer. This one is the Glisten Brightening Powder. It's pretty, but it's another one of those messy products. So I'm going to pass this one along. Then I have two from Makeup Forever. These are the Pro Fusion Light Highlighters, I think. I have number one, which is more of like one of those duochrome pinks, and then number two, which is a gorgeous gold. So I'm going to be keeping this golden one. I kind of want both. No, you know what? I'm going to keep them both because I use them and I like them. So I'm going to keep both of those. I have Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, of course, as well as Champagne Pop. I mean, that's kind of a given. Those are staying. Then I have this one from The Balm. This is Mary Luminizer. He's staying. I know, whatever. Then I have two from Gerard Cosmetics. This one is Grace. And then we have Marilyn. I never use, whoops, get into the frame. I never use either of these. They're really soft and silky, but yeah, I never use these. I do really like the packaging, but those are going to be sent away. And this one from Sigma, it's labeled as a blush, but it definitely looks more like a highlighter to me. It's in the shade Peaceful. I never use it. So that one can get passed along. I have the Exposed Highlight from Tarte. This is really pretty. I'm gonna hold on to this one. This is the Jouer Luminizing Brightening Powder. I never use that. I have this one from Japanesque, but I think I had this one in the full size as well somewhere. This one is in Champagne Gold. So I'm going to pass this one along to a friend as well as this one here. I really like this when I first got it. I haven't used it in forever, so that one can get passed along. I have two highlighters from NARS, Tribulation, and I think this one's, yeah, Reckless. This is a pink glittery highlighter, but Something about it is just really unique. I like to use it as an eyeshadow as well. It swatches kind of powdery, but it looks really pretty. Whoa, the fan is like weirding me out. It looks really pretty on your cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. I'm going to keep both of those as well as these highlighting bricks or shimmer bricks from Bobbi Brown. I'm not sure if one or all of these were limited edition. There's bronze glow, copper diamond, and then pink. This one I haven't used quite as much, but I still really like it. So all three of these are staying. Plus look how pretty the compacts are. Okay, and then I have this one here. This is from Dior. This was, I think, one of my first high-end highlighters. This one is an amber diamond. I think this one may have been discontinued, and honestly, when I first got it, I loved it, but I haven't used it in forever. I think my friend Laura said she didn't have this one and she really wanted it. So Laura, if you're watching it, this one is coming home to you. Remember how earlier I was complaining that loose highlighters are messy? Um, I'm gonna kind of eat my words and say I'm gonna keep all four of these because I haven't really had enough time to play with them yet. These are the new Starlet Powders from Makeup Forever. I have 12, 2, 13, and 15. Okay, this is where we're gonna do some major purging. How cute is this box? Don't get me wrong, I was super grateful that Makeup Geek sent these, but I haven't even used all of these on my face yet. I have gone through and swatched them, so we're about to purge the shit out of these. These are the Makeup Geek Duo Chrome Highlighter. So first up, we have the shade Ablaze, which looks like more of like a golden type of copper highlighter. I'm probably not gonna get that much use out of this one, so we're gonna get rid of that. We have the shade Electrify. This is kind of like a white gold, but there's like a slight yellowy Duo Chrome effect to it. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have Midnight Sun. This is really pretty, but I have lots of similar shades. We're gonna pass that one along. Next up is Firework. This looks like more of like a slight coppery type of highlighter. I wanna hold on to that. This one is the shade Lit. Kind of has a slight pinky shift. We're gonna get rid of that one. Night looks like a kind of classic golden coppery type of highlight. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Then we have the shade Luster. Since I've gotten rid of so many of my other pink toned highlighters, I'm going to hold on to this one. Celestial has a slight lavender shift. I've actually been using this one as an inner corner highlight and I really like it. Then we have the shade Daybreak. This is really cool because it has like this slight, I'm gonna swatch it in my palm, is that weird? Kind of like a coral champagne-y shift. So I want to keep that. Rekindle, this one, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like champagne, but kind of like, rose gold at the same time. This one is unique, so I want to keep it. Psychedelic, I don't like this one on my skin at all. Starting from this end, we have Moonface, Psychedelic, and then Glitz. Moonface has this really cool kind of like 
teal blue duochrome. I think this would look really good as an eyeshadow with like holographic glitter on top. So I'm going to be keeping this Passing On Glitz, which is kind of like an icy pink type of duochrome. Okay, so after all those highlighters, here are the 42 that I'm getting rid of. I know I kept a ton, but honestly, I'm proud of what I'm getting rid of because I'm so attached to highlighters. Those are easily my favorite products like out of my entire collection. So I think I did pretty good. I know a lot of y'all are gonna judge me, but that's okay. It's my collection. I'm gonna keep what I wanna keep. So here are the 42 that are leaving and going to new homes. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know which product you would like to see me declutter next. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I will see you guys on, what day is it? This is today's Thursday, so I will be seeing you guys on Sunday. Bye.